G'day Adrian, Hayden here at Pacific Toyota, giving you the personalized high definition virtual tour on our Isuzu D-Max. Uh, mate, so as I uh, as I mentioned, what, I, uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, obviously take you through the entire vehicle. Um, so we're gonna start off in the engine bay. So what I'll do is we'll pop the bonnet here. We'll start off in there, make sure that A, there is an engine. Um, and then what we'll do from there is we'll go through all the paint and panel in the vehicle as well. Uh, so we'll pop this open. As you can see, all nice and tidy under the hood. Close that one down. Let's give you a look up the front of the bonnet there. And as you can see there, no visible dents or anything like that. All the paintwork seems to be in pretty good condition from what I can see. There is a bit of a, lose my sunnies there. There is a bit of a touch up that needs to be done just here, um, which we can get done for you. That's no problems at all. Um, let's pick these up. So through the front bar, we do have a uh, TJM um, premium uh, bar is obviously the post type. Obviously a couple of marks on the ball bar, the bug splatter. Now these are winch compatible as well. TJM bash plate. Got a set of XTM spotlights on the front as well. All in all nice and tidy through there. Um, we do have aftermarket uh, alloy wheels and they're wrapped in a uh, Mickey Thompson all-terrain tire and as you can see there's heaps of tread left on those there. Down through obviously our driver's side panels. From what I can see mate there's no visible dents or anything like that. Paint work through here is nice and tidy. trade there and um, that should just come out with a bit of cut and polish to be honest doesn't feel like it's through the paint again oh, that's just coming off my finger there a couple of obviously little stone chips just on the rear guard here I can get them touched up as well for you that's no problem so coming through to the rear of the car now Bar on the back. So apologise, it has rained overnight. Down the opposite side now. And again, nice and tidy through there, there's no visible dents. Paintwork wise, a couple of chips up the top here. Again, happy to get them touched up. That's no problem at all. A couple of little marks, little stone chip marks on the rear guard here. Other than that though, everything else seems to be nice and tidy. Um, so a couple of marks around the vehicle, um, obviously a couple of stone chip marks, but uh, all in all, there's no major damage or anything like that, um, which is pleasing to see. Um, so what we might do, we'll show you through the second row of seats here. Now these have had custom uh, fitted um, seat covers. Now they are a neoprene seat cover, so the wetsuit material, and that's by Razorback. Um, as you can see, all the seats are all in fantastic condition. Um, we've got uh, rubber floor mats, they are genuine. And again, through the front seats there, they're all in really good condition as well. The vehicle does come with obviously two remote keys as you can see there they are the Isuzu genuine key. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, 
So odometer, we have 159,644 k showing on the clock there. And as you can see, there are no warning lights on the dash, which is pleasing to see. Um, through our, I guess, our steering wheel controls, we have all your stereo and Bluetooth controls on one side, all your cruise control options on the opposite side. Obviously lights and indicators, and then your windscreen wipers, downhill assist control, traction control, all your side mirrors, uh, for your spotlights, and then your um, interior uh, light dimmer. All your window and central locking controls just here, and then across into your infotainment system here, which is fitted out, um, oh, maybe not. Um, so this one obviously doesn't have the reversing camera, uh, but it is all touchscreen, um, so you can obviously go through. So we might just turn that up so you can hear it. So as you can hear there, all the speakers are working nicely. There's no distortion. Uh, it is fitted out with USB and AUX. Uh, air conditioning controls just down here. Um, so they're pretty uh, straightforward and standard. Driving mode, so park, reverse, neutral drive, and then across into a Tiptronic transmission. Uh, your two high, your four high, and your four low, four wheel drive uh, controls there. Couple of cup holders, center console. 12 volt auxiliary port up the top there. And then all our books are just in here. Go through That's all the service history with you here. All right, so first service done at 16. Again at 22, 32, 45, 54, 67, 79, 82, 100. Uh, looks like they've done the 100 kilometer. Uh, yeah, looks like they've done the 90 and the 100 at the same time. Uh, 113. 121, 132, 138. Uh, it's missing the 180, uh, and then it was done at 159 there. So uh, done by obviously time uh, with those ones, uh, by kilometers with these ones, not by time. Um, so due for 180, and then obviously done at 150 with us. So look, a, uh, a really, really good service history there. Obviously only missing the one service. Um, but all in all, the car's in really good condition. Um, you know, there's no major damage or anything like that. The interior's in, uh, in really good condition as well, um, as you can see. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll jump out. Alrighty, so that is our Isuzu uh, D-Max. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. I look forward to hopefully doing business with yourself very soon. Cheers.